69128. It's going to be out of Arkansas. Seven. Ten nine. Hello, I'm Officer Kozinets with Royal Police Department. I just drove by, saw the windows down, saw someone sleeping here, just making sure you're okay. Do you have an ID on you? Thank you. What you doing all the way out here in Illinois? You're from Arkansas, right? Um, yeah, just traveling through. Just traveling through? Are you homeless? Just, just, okay, okay. Yeah. No, nothing wrong with that. You're not in trouble or anything like that. No one asked me to tell you to go or anything like that. I just drove by, saw all the windows down, saw a bunch of stuff in here, making sure someone was okay in here, okay? Once, well, once I get done with this, I'll just let you get back to sleeping, okay? Go ahead. Ten four, thank you. Sorry, you keep waking you up. Where are you uh, headed after tonight? Chicago. Chicago? Okay, you got people up there you can uh, stay with? No. Just gonna kinda bouncing around until you can find something? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. I've got a few days left to um, give birth. So. Oh, you're pregnant? Yeah. Okay. Nine months. Nine months? So you're gonna go up to Chicago, give birth up, up there? Okay. Do you have anyone that I, I can call for you? Anything like that? No? Okay. Alrighty. Well, let me let me just run this real quick okay. and then we'll be good after that, okay? 6911 by file. Out of Arkansas. Letitia, yeah. here you go. Uh, I, I, I do have to tell you that if someone who owns the property does come here and tell you you gotta move, you have to move. Of course. But no one told me anything, so you're so you're good to stay here until someone tells you to move, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, no problem. I just gotta wait for them to make sure everything's okay and then I'll and then I'll leave you alone, okay? Boy or girl? boy Go ahead Ten four.
All right. Letitia, I'm gonna have you hang out here for one second. I, I just gotta go back to my car, okay? west of it. I'm going to be in the middle of the skies over here. Thing you're out here i was gonna ask a question real quick so are there geos with felonies or no because if she's within geos because i was gonna run her just to double check because i feel like she's sleeping like, yeah she's passed out 987 what were the geos on this warrant oh 10-4 what do you say no bond nationwide extradition for. So then, before we get down to that process, um, before we get down to that process, so take her down to county, have them email, uh, have Metcom email or the jail email, whoever issued it, and then just leave her there. So they'll confirm it with the county or the uh, issuing department. Okay. So should I do that now? Oh, wait till we get her in custody before confirming it. Okay. Hey, Letitia, you want to step out real quick so we can talk to you? No. Well, Letitia, it'd be better, a whole lot easier if you come out and talk with us, you know? Why? We just got to ask you some quick questions, and then we can kind of go from there. No. It'd be better if you're out here, okay? All right. Hey, Letitia. We we just got a some uh, some quick questions, okay, and then we can get out of your hair. There's some stuff coming back on your license. I've yeah. been talk to you about. Yeah. I like the warrant for the falsified rape report. This wasn't falsified. Okay. Okay, but in our system, you know, it come back. So, like I said, if you come out here, we can get all this stuff cleared out. No. Okay. We we don't have a choice. You have to go down for the warrant, okay? So it's going to be a lot easier if you just step out of the car. Do what? Down for the warrant. Yeah, well, you'll have to go down to the county jail. Okay. So That's you're trying to put me in jail when I'm literally nine months pregnant. Have like a few days left to before I give birth. Okay. September 4th is the due date. Okay. And we'll communicate that with to the jail. Yep. But as of right now, we don't have a choice in what happens from here on out. So this process, like I said, goes a lot smoother if you just come out and cooperate with us. Right. Yep. Right. Correct. So you want to step out of your car for us? No. Okay. <clears throat> nope. I'm trying to think, should we go ahead and get any of out here? Or... Is any other windows down? No. Can... This one? 
Letitia, we don't have a choice, so you're gonna have to come out of the car no matter what, all right? And we don't want to make it. You're gonna drag me in. We don't want to make it hard on you or your baby. You're dragging me in to force me into confines. You you have a warrant, yes. Again, after I was detained at seven months. Right. You have a warrant. We don't have a choice here. There's a warrant for my arrest. Yes, ma'am. Out of what state? Arkansas. Out of Arkansas. So could you step out of the car for us, please? No. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you just want to get Hennigus on the line then real quick? Just see where we go from here. So, Letitia, like Officer Eaner said, we don't have a choice in what happens from here. And if you keep resisting and not coming outside, you know, like I said, we don't want to make things harder on you or the baby. Okay, Letitia, here's the thing. We don't have a choice on what happens, okay? So either you come out by yourself, or we have to pop open your car door, okay? And we don't want to do that. We'd rather this go smoothly. You step out, and we go from there. We can get you down to the if jail. If it went smoothly, then they would have dro dropped those charges because it's an allegation that I falsified the rape report. So the warrant was issued by a judge. For 12 hours. So it's not like someone just decided to drop the warrant. It was it went through a judge and everything right. like that. So no, it's I not understand. random. And it's completely absurd. It is. Because they did three weeks of investigation, mm -hmm. never spoke to my gynecologist, never spoke to any of my doctors, didn't actually investigate properly because the man was former military. And here I have a few days left to rest before I have to actually give birth. You're causing me to have contractions now. So we can no. get an ambulance out right now and check you out if that's, if, if that's where this is going. Right, if that's where this is going. Although last week when you detained me, forced me to go into, what is that, OSF over here for a few days. Was that Bloomington yeah. that did that? I'm sorry? Was that Bloomington PD that yes. did that? Okay. Because he was like, we understand there's a warrant. They understand that I post everything on social media now because it's absurd. Why would you sit there and attack the woman when in actuality I just I filed a report against rape? And you're going to deny my right, my constitutional right, in order to do so? That's not right. If you see my entire record, I'm not sitting here trying to get away with anything. I'm giving up the baby. What's the problem? Why is everybody so fucking deranged that they have to they have to sit there and, and cause more fucking issues for me emotionally, stress me the fuck out? I already have PTSD. People are fucked. You guys are fucked up, all of you. Okay. So, so you also gotta understand we're not the one that issued the warrant. We have no clue what went on with the, the report or anything like this, but we have our job that No, we everybody's can't, got their we, job and no one does it professionally. Go. And that's why I said in Arkansas, they didn't file it properly. Three weeks of investigation is not a proper amount of time to sit there and say that I allegedly falsified the fucking documents. But that's what court's for, and that that has nothing to do with us. We have what we have in our system that no, says you have a warrant. of course. And that's why last time And we time want this to go as smooth go, as possible. I should have just ran from this area. It doesn't matter where I go. They've got a ping on my phone. It doesn't matter. The fact that you came across me is not something that is... I'm so, Letitia, I, like, like I told you when I stopped you, I was driving up here and I just saw your car with your windows down and a bunch of stuff in here and I was trying to make sure you're okay. And the last time I was pulled over a few days ago by the officer... What happened when you pulled over by the officer? I was, I was live streaming on my YouTube channel. Okay. 
Oh, and we're all and we're all recording right now too. Well, yeah. No shit. Okay. Okay. Like I said, Letitia, we just we just want you to come out, and then we're gonna take you down to the county, and then we can inform them of you know your due date, and then and then we can make the medical decisions from there. And then if you want an ambulance when we get you out, we can we can arrange that too. No. Well, how about I just treat you how every every other officer has treated me, mistreated me, and misguided me. Have we mistreated or misguided you tonight? Well, apparently so. I don't want to go to fucking county jail. I didn't do shit. Well, I didn't Letitia, falsify a goddamn rape report. Letitia, we have to go by what's in our system. We don't have a choice on no, what happens from here on out. Everyone does. Because everything is about documentation. Everything is about the numbers. Everything is about the papers. Papers? The paperwork. The paperwork in regards to people's lives. The classifications. The falsified records. That's why I talk about this stuff on my YouTube channel. Okay. Generally, I live stream this BS. Why? Because it wasn't my fault what had happened. I was asleep when the motherfucker penetrated me. And then they did no investigation. And then what? Okay, Letitia. Are you, are you going to come out or not? No. Okay. okay. You have to come out. That's the thing. It's not a... Are you going to come out or not? It's are you going to come out willingly or do we have to get you out? Which obviously that's not something we want to well, do. Well, then I guess you're going to have to do it forcibly, won't you? Just like the man that was in a uniform that I couldn't fucking file against. We're right? not trying to do anything forcibly here. We just want right. this to go smoothly. Again, what happened in Arkansas is not something that we had anything to do with, but we have to take you in. We can't just leave you here. It's not an option. Do you realize how obnoxious that is? Do you realize how absurd that is when the officers knew they dropped me off at OSF? Okay, well, again, that was that Bloomington. That wasn't normal. I don't know why Bloomington didn't do that. That's something, again, when you go down to county, you'll be able to discuss with them. And, again, when you go to court, that's something you can discuss. Anything that goes on through court, that has nothing to do with us, but we have to bring you in. It's not an option just to be like, oh, well, we'll let it slide this time. You're all demonic, then. You're all demonic, and you feed the devil. No, ma'am. Satanic. Yes. Because if anybody were to actually understand what the fuck I'm doing, I'm not doing anything. I'm not running from anything. This is absurd. I want you to be able to speak your truth, but tonight isn't the place to do it. You have to go to court to do that, so we have to take you in. Right, I have to go to court. But the father was never actually charged with anything. They turned around and they charged me with falsifying the report. Again, that's something that's that you disgusting. have to you have to do in the future with them, but we don't have an option. You have to come with us tonight. Because we can't leave until you come out of your car. And like you said, you're due in a couple days. We want to get this whole thing behind us, and I know you do too. So the longer you stall and everything like that, you know, then we have to come inside your car and bring you out, and we don't want that. We don't want to make get that undue stress on the baby, on you, anything like that. Not filing properly is what stressed me out in the first fucking place. Who gives a shit about this child? No one gave a fuck. That's why they let a homeless girl just wander off. So I don't know anything about that. Right now, my main concern is what's going on right now. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if it's something that you care about in the moment, but something else you have to realize is that if we can get you out peacefully and willingly, that's the end of it. It's just that charge for the warrant that we have to bring you in on. But if we have to forcefully get you out of the car, you can also be charged for resisting. And you're obstructing. That's what they said when they caught me in the shower in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Okay. Again, that's Arkansas. The fucking shower in one of the gyms. Okay. Well, luckily for us right now, you're not in the shower. You're in a car. You're safe in there, but we need to get you out here. You are disgusting. You are. There's nothing right about anything that fucking happens. Protocol, procedure, regulations. Bullshit. Bullshit. All of it bullshit. Why do you think I'm nine months pregnant and everybody's harassing me? Hmm. Fucking So we're not harassing you. This is technically harassment. 
We are we are doing our police duties. I ran your license and it came back because you had a warrant out of Arkansas. Right. And so what that means is we have to get you out of the car. We got to bring you down to the county, and then Arkansas goes from there with what they want to do. Okay. As far as the normal police us us standpoint, right now we have to take you down to county. What the fuck is gonna happen with my car then? You gonna impound that shit too? Do you have one in the area? Do you have anyone in the area? Are you what? No, what brought you up I'm to Bloomington so Normal? Homeless. What brought you up here? I lived in Wisconsin for twenty years of my life. Okay. So that I was traveling up north. I looked for nine months for resources, and nobody actually did anything. Mm-hmm. And were Bloomington or Normal? That was that another place you were attempting I was just to come for? I'm here because I enjoy the vegan food in the area. Okay. Where was your Where was your next place you were planning on going after staying here for a little bit? Were you planning on going back to Wisconsin or going back to Arkansas? Watch out! Watch out, guys! All right, yeah, we're gonna get the. All right, you need the other one too. We can't. We can't do it with this. Yep. Someone's over there and wash her hands. Yeah, we got it. Okay. See, she's holding on to it now? Yeah. Alright, now she is instructing, so. Yep. There's another charge. And then just watch out because she is pregnant, so when we do get her out of the car... Go ahead. We're trying to get her out of the car now. But yes, 10-4. Is that one gonna work? Someone want to park their car in front of her? I want to park my car in front of her.
Yep, that's fine. Thank you. 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 Thank I'm not trying to resist or be offensive whatsoever. I know you're not the same people that harm me. So yeah, that's me. We're just, unfortunately, this is a poor situation for you. I get it, but we have to do this. I do have to urinate really badly, though. I would like to do it. Yep, we'll get you somewhere, okay? So we can we can go to my car right now and you can sit in my car. Okay. Okay. What? Please, oh. God. All right, we I'm gotta go. Piss myself. We gotta. If I piss myself. I swear to Christ. I'm gonna need my purse, obviously. How am I supposed to get my shit? Also, the set of keys that are in the front there. Yes, and the Batman keys, please. Oh my god, no, I really have to pee. Okay. I'm not going to be able to make it. He's, we're going to take you straight yeah. to county and we'll get you back there. Uh, you guys we'll, are evil. We'll, we'll let him know what's going on. fucking evil. Yeah, let's go. Really, really so we're going to go. We're going to go. The quicker we get there, the quicker you can use the restroom, okay? Do you have a cage car? No. Do you want an ambulance out here? <laughs> well, Tisha, do you want someone to check you out? I just need to pee really badly. So we can do that once we get down to the uh, county, okay? I just have a lot of pee. What are you feeling right now? Yep. Let her go. All right, you can you can use the restroom. Okay. Okay. Oh. Stop, 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 oh, stop, don't, don't, oh. don't, please don't touch me. Oh my god, please don't touch me. What's going on? Can you, I need one hand just so I can pee. Oh my god, no, I just want to Okay, if we give you one hand, you're please. not going to do anything? I'm not going to do anything to anyone. Okay, turn around, Officer please. Parks. Alright, we're, we're still going to hold on to you. I'm going to put it. 
Okay. Are you sure you don't want us to get an ambulance or anything out here for you? Now you're going to hands behind your back once again. I'm going to be right there, the one with the lights on in the back. Do I have to notify the jail? Or what? do I have to notify anyone or when I get down there, like it's their paperwork or something? Okay. We're gonna go in this one? Yeah. Or her pants wet? I don't know. Yeah, we can we can put her in the back then. Do what? Yeah, I guess we can put her in the back then. Unless you're fine with transporting your car. Let's put her in the back, just in case. Put on the My com 691. Can you fax the warrant down to the jail, please? 10-4, thank you. Alright. All right. Yeah. Alright, watch your head when you go in, okay? Give me some light. I gave it. I gave it back to her when. Do you, you have your ID or? I think I placed it in my purse. Prior. Okay. okay. I'll Thank just you. Double check your purse right here. It'll, it's probably in the back seat. She knows her car is staying here. Yeah. It, 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 no. No reclaim fee. No nothing. So your car is not going to be towed, okay? Where would you have put it? Where would you have put it in like in? I just sort of like haphazardly placed it in the store in my um, in that wallet. I, that it's a wallet I ran her too, so okay. I got her info if we needed, but. Is this it? Or no? The it's Arkansas, Arkansas one? We have, we have PC that she's smoking. No. I guess you do have that if you want to. It's up to you. What? We have TC, she's smoking weed in there, so we can search the car. I have a medicinal marijuana card. Car. Yeah, go for it. I have a medicinal yeah, marijuana for card for Arkansas. What? I have a medicinal marijuana card for Arkansas. Medicinal marijuana? Why would they like, search you, my vehicle? Can you smoke it in the vehicle in Arkansas? Well, yes, because I'm technically that's my home. I'm not, I'm not sure that's how it works. It's not how it works here in Illinois. You can't smoke Especially like when it's parked. Nobody's ever harassed me like that. 
Well, you also you also smoked it in front of five police officers in your car. Mm -hmm. You can't. I have a medicinal marijuana card. What's the problem? So we go by the Illinois rules, not the Arkansas. Well, technically, I still live in my vehicle, and the vehicle is registered in Arkansas. But it's here in Illinois, right? She's got a passport. So can, I mean, yeah, that's fine. Can I can I see that other one you pulled? Why is everybody manhandling my shit? Just what looking, the fuck? We're just looking for your ID. There's no need to get upset. The uh, that ID card that you have. Thank you. You are so fucked up. Take a deep breath. I don't think it I gave. Was on the bed where we were talking to her, but it's not there anymore. I don't I'm think sure I. You don't need it. Yeah, but you know, because I, I brought it to my car because I don't think I gave it back to her unless. But it was in the car. I remember seeing it laying on the bed. Too, but yeah. Okay. I thought, I was like, How did you run it without having? So it? I think I know where it is. Did you lock it? Okay. Let me just do a double check.
resisting peace officer. Then she became a woman. Are we going with resisting? Or? I, I mean, it's, it's your call. Yeah. It's your peace for grabbing the... Yeah, I would say... So I'm going to go for obstructing the warrant, don't don't worry about the search, um, make sure the car's locked, and then just so we can get her down here, get her get her down there quick. Yep. Do you guys have anything, questions for me about anything? We're down good. Okay, thanks guys. Yeah, I did not think she was coming out. Yeah. Yeah, how did, how did you guys end up getting her out? Oh, that was it? I think she knew where it was going. Well, yeah. we told her like seven times where it was going to go. Yeah, like we're not, we're not trying to like leave. Like, no. You have to okay. I'll. Thanks, guys, again. Yep. Officer Sipes, let's roll out. Eight six five. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got it. That comes six nine one. Can you show eight six five and I ninety five to county one adult female starting zeros? Have a seat on this bench for me, okay? okay. Thank you. Um, I'm pretty sure I have to call the jail. The way Dana was describing it is that we just. Uh -oh. Let me feel the rest. Because while well, that is a new field of rust. Did you write down her name? No. That's what you still yeah. need. First name's Letitia. Letitia, how do you spell your last name? Collins, C O L L I N S. 
L E T I C I A. Yes. Thank you. Did you find my driver's license? No, I I, I think when you said you haphazardly put it in there, it's probably in that basket. I didn't I didn't go and look in inside the stuff. We checked the console. You didn't put it, it back. Must have fallen between the seats then. Okay. I don't see it in here. Is the Hot Springs address still a valid address for you, or not anymore? I lived there for ten years, and then I lost it three years ago. And then when I renewed my license, they didn't really ask, so I just renewed it with the same address. Okay. I've had my PO box for two years now. Is this the P.O. Box 3551? Okay. So I'll update that then. So right now, just in case we need anything. And is the... Um, we had Metcom fax the warrant. So you need copies of all that? Yes, please. Thank you so much. Go ahead. Ten four. You can call my personal. Oh. What? No, it's in my car. Nine seven two six nine one. You can twenty two the personal. I can give you um, the patrol phone. What was that? Go ahead, we're ready. Three zero. Kazaneski. Hello? Hey, what's up? Yeah, I can hear you. Was that from uh, Hennigus? Okay, yeah. Okay. I uh, highlighted the case number. Okay. The only th the only thing is we didn't like field test it or anything like that, right? But. Yeah. Well, does she have local charges too or no? Nope. Yeah. So you so you guys saw the original packaging and everything like that. And once you go okay, thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that then. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Right. They want to come and get you at that time or not? They will, more than likely. Oh, uh, so you've been extradited before? They did it for the same instance. They said that I falsified the rape report. Oh. And they only did three weeks in the investigation. My com 691 so was my time of custody. Okay. Mm. I did. All right, we're going to take that up with them, so. That's what they say. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sound four? Did he say anything about this? I was on the phone with Parks. What's up? Did he say anything about this? All right, so this is the case number. This is the agency. So. Scroll up. Is there another one? One else did. What was the other one? There's some up. more about it. There it is. Um, by petition of the state. Okay, and then uh, no. Let's see. So I'm just gonna ask him, like, what it, what needs to be on here? Hold on, looking. Like. 
feel like. So, yeah, well, probably warrants. Yeah, so if we go to return warrants, add warrant manual. I think that's what we, I think this is what we have to do. So uh, out of state warrant. I can. Do <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, you don't have to do it, man. Uh, jurisdiction. Out of county jurisdiction, correct. What is the case number? Perfect. We're learning together. Bond amount. Zero. Yep. Health without bond. No bond. No bond. Unless there's a no bond. No bond. And so. No bond. Let me just double check. No bond required? Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound like it. That makes it seem like we can just get out. I think it's held without bond. Like uh, the actual, like what the actual thing is. Oh, that's not it. I'm actually gonna take a picture of this stuff, just so I know. Support no bond. Confirmation. Confirmation information. This is Kazanesco with MPD. Uh, can I get a hold of booking, please? Uh, this is Kazanesco with MPD. Um, I got an out-of-state warrant, and uh, this is the first time I'm doing one. Um, for the confirmation information, for the warrant, I'm filling this stuff out. What needs to be on there? Okay, thank you. Um, this is Kazaneski. Um, so for the confirmation information, um, when I'm filling out the warrant thing on here, um, what needs to be on that part? The elites. So, oh, so just type in, just, just put in leads then. Awesome. Slash facts. Awesome. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay.
So do you know what else you're getting charged with tonight? What else? You're getting charged with resisting, obstructing, and you're also getting charged with endangering the life, health, and safety of a child. For what, sir? What was that? When you were smoking the weed. That doesn't endanger my child. It, it most, that, most, most certainly does. It does not. That's crazy. If anything, it keeps me home, and they knew about this the whole time. I smoked weed on all my videos. They knew. Okay. And then we're going to have these absurd things that I'm going to deal with up here, too. Uh, so when that dude came in and gave me this, what? he asked if there was any other charges that I was sending out. So oh, so, uh, okay. Um, I'm still putting it in. Yep, yep, I'm going to put everything in. I'm trying to see what it is. Is, it, is there an infant on it here? Well, I guess they had to follow them. Right here? Oh, John. When's your due date? So I can let them know. Okay. Am I missing anything? I think I got everything. Letitia's ready for you. Thank you. Should we keep this? I'm sure. I'll, I'll ask you. <laughs> you know, tell us. Yeah. Thanks for coming out. Oh. I appreciate it. So we're going to give them your purse and everything too, okay? from yesterday. You were till eight, you said? So what? You were here till eight? Yeah, honestly, I was so tired, I can't remember. I think it's longer than eight, but I was pretty eight. Look at you guys ruining my night like this. I am so sorry. Uh, do I keep this, or do you guys get this back? I do not know the answer either. Oh, sorry, he's down here. Okay, thank you. Because you guys can have it back. I don't know what I need from it, but... Okay. okay. Uh, I'm just... I pretty much have everything that I need on it. Okay. And if I need it, I can just have Matt Com fax it over to the to PD. Thank you. Alright. You can stand up. I'll help you up. Oh, 
Okay. Want me to come in or just, no. Got anything on you guys? Take us both this at all. No. Okay. Put that down. All right. So our arms are already back. We'll go around and do each side thing like this. So you come in around the breast. Right up here. Check the pockets. And then you'll grab the waistline. For the waistline. I live all around here. Make sure nothing in there. And then you have the legs and you just pat and wheel. So spread the legs over here. There you go. Where from? All right. Go ahead and turn around for me. I was out. Got any jewelry on you? Any piercings anywhere? Is there anything I forgot to put on there? Yeah, what would you you forget? What? What'd you forget? No, no, this is what I did. Oh, she you, she does have local charges. Right. I asked you if you had she had local charges. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So then I then I I was gonna get her set up for extradition, but I guess not now. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, that's all right. It was a it was an interesting night. Yeah. Um. So what what I did here on the out of case, case warrant, what I did, I just added. They they faxed the warrant number. A lot of oh. times, and I always go on the OCA anyway. I'm going to leave it in there because that's the case they put on here. Yeah, uh, that's and but they have another case on here, so I just added that to. Oh, it didn't attach, so I don't know. Maybe it doesn't want me to save it. Oh well. Okay. I was just going to put that. No big deal. But so this right here, I guess that's an actual warrant right here. Okay. You know that they fax. So. Yeah, because this is my first time doing an out of state one, so, so I just wanted to make sure I had yeah, everything. Yeah. Sometimes on out of state too, they put a bond amount on there. Mm-hmm. But even though it's out of state, what we would put is still no bond. Yeah, that's yeah. even even if it's right, even if it's fifty bucks, no bond. No bond. Because <laughs> you don't want them to bail out. No, I guess not. Alrighty. So yeah, that's what I was putting on there, but it didn't attach anyway. But I'm not going to worry about it, and it wouldn't let me. So okay, that's all right. I would have to remove it all and put it back in. I'm not going to do that. But it is Benton County, right? Correct. That's what it says on their Benton County Sheriff's Office. Yeah, Benton County Sheriff's Office. It didn't to my extradition. The only thing I got to put on here is her social security number, and she didn't have an ID, or did she? She she had one initially, but she threw it in the back in the car somewhere, and we oh, looked okay. for it, but we couldn't find she it. She has a passport. She does have a passport in here. Yeah. In her, uh, she has cash. I'm pretty sure I put it back in there. This what is this? That's the medical cannabis card. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. How far along is she pregnant? I wrote it in there. She's nine months and she's due in like a week. Oh, great. Yeah, I kept asking her if she wanted to go to the hospital. She said no. Anything else from the A team there, Sarge? No. That's fucking wonderful. Sorry. <laughs> Alrighty. Looks like we're going to just get her out of here. Nine months pregnant. Yeah. I said I just uh, I now just did they know that when you sent a teletype to them that she's nine months pregnant? Uh, I believe I believe so because I called now, it out. Has it been confirmed or is that just what she's saying? She, yeah, that's what she said. She said she's nine months pregnant and her due date September 4th. She was on her way up to Chicago and was sleeping here for the night. But I saw that we had we 
Like she was here last week or something like she that. She was talking I thought. to Carlos and the woman then stopped her and didn't help her for the woman. Mm -hmm. uh, she better with Seth for a while. Okay. Well. Darn it. young lady that they're bringing in right now uh, she told them she's nine months pregnant and, and due to have the baby in a week okay. so, so she has local charges and an out-of-state warrant yeah for the related child and baby. what's what's that for um, when we were trying to get her out of the car she lit up a bowl with uh, marijuana and started smoking it right in front of us oh um, okay Huh. Right, looks like we might be paying for a baby. <laughs> First time? <laughs> All right. I'll bring uh, down the keys. Yep, yeah, and if you could do do me a favor, just forward that on. Or even, who's on duty tonight? Is it Proctor? I have to go check. I don't know. I don't know. If they can be notified. All right? Yeah, I'll send them an email. Thank you. Bye. All right. Sorry for the headache. No, no big deal. We'll go back up. This is like my first time accounting. Like, yeah. Yeah. NTAs, NTAs. Okay. I just have a seat right here. Okay. So, I understand, has that been confirmed? I mean, of course, I mean, your due date? Yes. And what is it? September 4th. September 4th, okay. Have you had children before? One other. One other, how was that pregnancy? I had preeclampsia, so they had to induce early. Oh, did they? Mm. Okay. All right, officers, any questions for her before you, uh, you go? I do not. Good? All right. Thank you. Oh, no, you're not leaving. Oh. Seven All right. Okay. Just relax. Very soon, you guys let him out. Uh, do you have a name? Uh, no. Oh, I got a buzz. Thank you.